Hello and welcome to the Comlex 5 minute review. Please visit comlexflashcards.com for complete Comlex prep resources. On comlexflashcards.com you'll get free lectures, free podcasts in addition to high yield mnemonics and facts for the board exam. Let's review this case. A 2.8 kg baby presents to your office with copious secretions from the mouth and bouts of severe coughing and cyanosis upon feeding. There's no other abnormalities. Apgars are fine, no prenatal abnormalities, and this stops once the patient stops eating. Well, you're thinking about a tracheoesophageal fistula and an esophageal atresia here. It's the most common anatomy um, in children, and one of the conditions involves the upper esophagus which ends in a blind pouch and the TEF is connected to the distal esophagus. You also want to keep in mind the association with the vertebral anomalies, um, renal anomalies, radial limb deformities, cardiac anomalies, and you want to get imaging studies to rule any of these other conditions out. Um, again, the type C here, here, H type, is one of the most common types and it presents chronically and is diagnosed later in life with chronic respiratory problems. So the clinical presentation would be a frothing bubbly cough cyanosis and respiratory distress, uh, immense uh, you know, regurgitation and aspiration upon feeding, and you usually find this with the first feed. How do you make the diagnosis? Well, the key thing here is you know, an inability to pass the nasogastric or the oogastric tube is mainly one of the key tip-offs. Now you can also do an x-ray which shows a tube coiled with air distended stomach. And for isolated TEFs, an esophageogram with contrast media is recommended. Um, also keep in mind its association with cardiac abnormalities such as VSDs, ASDs, as you are reading the question on the boards. We reviewed the treatments here. It's mainly surgical, ligation of the TEF, and resection with end-to-end -end anastomosis of the esophageal atresia. What about some of the complications? An anastomotic leak, missed recurrent TEF, esophageal stricture, which you can treat with dilation, and a tracheomalacia. These are some of the key complications you should keep in mind. Please visit comlexflashcards.com for complete Comlex prep resources as you're preparing for the Comlex board exam. We will have more lectures and the complete pediatric gastroenterological chapter can be found on comlexflashcards.com. Good luck in your preparation.